It is blowing 20 to 25 knots. It was gusting 30 knots earlier. We're heading out to do an oil change. We're gonna change the impellers there and the water pumps right there. Because hopefully we're gonna pull these motors off in about five, six, seven weeks, somewhere in there. Assuming the new ones show up, we're gonna put new motors on this boat and uh, have it running fresh. We got a special guest today though. Marcus is here. Introduce yourself, where you're from. Hey, my name is Marcus and I am from Cutler Bay, Florida. Marcus showed up today, <laughs> says, Nick, I want to be a fisherman, maybe be a captain one day. Can I go hang out? And I said, we ain't fishing today, but we'll do the, the dirty work and uh, that's part of it. So James is here as usual. We got Dawson here and we're going to head on over and haul out. Here we go. Man, oh, we're getting a close up. The man, right the myth, the legend. Yeah. All right. Look, his all right. dance hat looks good. Yeah. Mine looks disgusting. It's yeah. all dirty. <laughs> Look, Nick got me all salty. We've been fishing too much. Here's the deal, you guys. We're gonna just change the lower unit oil, but we're gonna do those water pump impellers, like I said. We're gonna hit the boat with a quick uh, layer of wax here. And it is very windy today. It's blowing at least 25 knots. There's some 30 knot gusts for sure. See that grease on there? We put that on there last time, 150 hours ago or so. We try to do every 100, 150 hours on the lower unit oil and the main oil there. You can still see that on there, it's good. That stuff held up there. That's the blaster stuff, so give it a shot. If you haven't used it, you will be impressed. If you ain't blasting, you ain't blasting. We're Instagramming, waiting on the tools. And then we're gonna drop these lower units here. We're gonna take a couple bolts off on each side, a couple of nuts off, and um, he's gonna bring some lower unit stands. We can stand them up in there real easy and change out those impellers. A lot of people ask, you know, why am I gonna, they're running great, there's a thousand and eighty hours on them. But I can sell them. And obviously I've been working with the Yamaha for over five years now, five and a half years almost, and they give me a decent price and I can sell them for a decent price and it just makes sense to do it that way for the business. No, that's the man of the hour right there. Danny's gonna get us fixed up and point out. So. That magnetic right there. All right, so we're gonna drain the lower unit oil first. But we're going to drop the lower units, change out those impellers, and honestly, they're probably fine. They're pumping water fine on the water pumps, but uh, it's time to do them. And when I sell these motors, I want to say, you know, we just did the water pumps recently there with the new impellers, so it'll make it that much easier to sell. Danny going to get us fixed up here. The gear lube's drained. Time to fill it up with some fresh stuff here. We're good? Nope. Now, notice he's getting the motor vertical here, you guys. We're gonna pressurize it. Oh, it's pressurized. We got pressure. We got five of the six nuts already off the lower unit. We're gonna drop that down, change out that impeller. We'll show what the old one looks like. It should be in really good shape. We'll keep moving. Dawson's waxing the boat, and uh, it'll be a fun day today. Good day for maintenance when it's windy. Marcus might be a fisherman after all, there's no telling, we just met, but uh, we're all getting our hands dirty today. It's the spot zero, you didn't, you didn't change the filter. Dawson says there's water spots in the hall. I think yeah. it's because Nick forgot to change the filter. When you at get spot done zero. fishing a hard day, you gotta take the hose over the rod rail. You can't Dawson just the told James he's not spraying the hull off good enough, there's salt sitting on it, so he says I ain't changed the filter on the spot zero. Never we're not sure what the truth is. Dawson, what's the truth? The truth is somebody's not spraying it. Yeah, oh yeah, my god. Oh it. my god. Never <laughs> enough. A monster there. This is Danny's time to shine. He's gonna walk us through changing a water pump on a Yamaha 300. Here we go. The impeller actually on the water pump. So we're not doing the whole housing, just the impeller. Here we go. Got the bolts out of there, got all the nuts loose on here. We're gonna drop it, put it in the stand, here we go. You got two people to help handle it, it makes it much easier. Don't miss any bolts, James. All right, I'll do my best. All right, so we already did that impeller there, they're putting that one back together, this one's next, so. There we 
we go. The lower unit is off. Jimmy's gonna take us by step by step what happens next. Spacers off. Then we're gonna fit on this housing. That's the housing there, that's where the impeller is underneath there. If you're gonna do a service, you know, usually we do it every 100 hours. How about for the impeller and uh, water pump? Uh, impellers and water pump, you know, usually I always do them at 100 hours. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So this is the old impeller right there. That's the new one. Obviously it's got a little warp in it. That's, That's normal. normal wear and tear, it's fine. They're not breaking off, there's no blades broken, not brittle. Usually you have like stress cracks here, but you don't even have them on this one. No stress cracks, nothing like that in there. So good to go. Good to know they're running well. Impeller's going back on. Make sure you grease the shaft. All right, get that new uh, impeller on there. On the shaft, there's a key. Gotcha. And then it, that, that's what makes the impeller spin. If not the drive shaft, it would just so spin. You gotta get the impeller in there just right, you guys. I always grease my impeller before putting the housing on because it's metal and sometimes you'll pinch the rubber with the metal and you'll break your impeller putting it on. Good to know. Grease your impeller there, guys. And then when you put it on, drive shop always spins clockwise. Always grease up your bolts. Last thing you need is to do a service and your bolt breaks in there. And then after every bolt that you tighten, spin the drive shaft, make sure you didn't get that impeller. Grease shift shaft, make sure you grease these splines up. Dawson gives a little advice here. If you, if you pour it this way, it gulps a lot. If you pour it this way, it's a little harder to get in there, but it shouldn't gulp as much. I don't know, that's what I do when I'm back home and I still make a mess though. Let's find out. Oh, it's in, we're filling her up. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> Y'all thought Dawson was good for nothing, he's good for something. <laughs> Check out his YouTube channel, Dawson Barton, right? Oh yeah, Piano. starting to post videos again. Back on the video train. I got off it for a little bit, but I got a dedicated camera now, so I'm back on it. Back in the action. Gonna try and post a few videos a week, and uh, Please go and subscribe and give a few of my videos a view. Yeah, go check out his views. Give him some love, you guys. We're in. We had to turn the, the drive shaft there a little bit just to get the splines to line up. So he's got a nut going on there right away, and as long as you get one on, that'll hold it. Water pump has a fresh impeller. We're good to roll. All right, James. You're back on your side. Hopefully, hopefully I don't mess it all up again. James, if you're gonna go viral on YouTube, this could be your shot. Oh, uh, Dean's <laughs> surpassing me on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Fish for eight. We gonna pack them for eight. Shouldn't you be working or something? What are you doing? Slacking off? What do you do besides right in your mouth, James? What? At least I didn't lie to you and tell you we were doing something different. Yeah. Where's my fish? You gotta pack some. Oh. Uh. I don't know anyone who's good at that. You gotta catch more fish. James, yeah. James just fish. breaks them off anyway. Here, here, here. Hello, this is Brandon. Oh, his phone's off. Oh, oh wait, hold on. Brandon, how are you gonna book any charters when your phone's not even on? There's people calling you. This guy's trying to book a charter and your phone's not on. <laughs> hey, this is Marcus. I heard you've been catching a lot of big gator trout. I wanted to come and see you and come fish with you, so. Uh, hit me back up. James just cost me a lot of money, you guys. Check this out. If you look at the back of his shirt here, it tells you. If you saw it on the internet and it looked easy, it's an extra 300 bucks. And he offered advice. That's another 100. James tried to help. That's 125. Oh, yeah. And he watched. So we racked up a big bill today. And I've been here for quite some hours. If you or your mate had a go first, James, you cost me a lot of money today. Yep. You gotta go first. Looks like times. you're giving me a raise. Maybe, maybe they may not want your help too, so keep that in mind. <laughs> it's probably just easier to pay these guys. Dawson's getting back on the boat. All the props are on. We're done. New gear lube, new impellers for the water pumps. Dawson did a quick coat of wax on the side there. We're just gonna check everything and uh, 
we're going back to Bud and Mary's. Our day's almost over. This part, anyhow. I'm going to show that 36 elephant next. We gotta give these guys some shirts there. Danny, you get a medium. I hope you're a medium. Eric's got a kid, so he's like me. He's working on his dad bod. Those are the new boat shirts. If you guys want one, check them out on the website, stansfishing.com. I'll put the link below. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate the help. All right, no problem. He don't want to get it dirty, so I'm going to no. give it to Eric. Yeah, Keep his hands sure, clean. Uh, he don't get dirty. <laughs> Tells me to go with the oil, doesn't get in my sock. Look. Ridiculous. Fans here, you guys, from North Carolina. What's everyone's names again? Dylan. Dylan Finn. Mason. And Mason, all the way down here, stopped by to say hey. We've been a quick picture. James is in the hole changing the filter. Where's the wrench? Right there, right here. Right here, right here, right here. He said, where's the wrench? Remember, lefty tidy, we lefty righty. Left, lefty tighty, you hear that? Lefty tighty, righty. Lucy, righty tighty. Alright, I'm gonna mess up. I even knew that. Hey, that ain't how you use that wrench, buddy. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, we tried to make this life a lot that's more a weird easier. wrench. Yeah, he's trying to set me up for failure. See, I got it loose and he's still talking to me. I mean, these cowls, I mean, this has got to be a couple hundred pounds. Bean and Bean wants to be famous in all the videos, but you don't see him down here doing any work. This guy, what is he yeah. doing? Dawson. What? That's you, buddy. He made a mess you all over the boat. You just on. cleaned this boat. We're gonna take this red, this red terminal. We're gonna stick it right here on the main tower for the block. We're gonna find a ground in here somewhere. Oh, the ground's right next to it. Imagine that. All right, we're hooking up power over here. We got the power hooked up. We got paper over this because it gets really messy with all the oil. You... Ready to turn it on? Yeah. Oh, uh, we got no power, sir. No power. Slap, slap, and strap. Um, you can see the Stanzics don't give us the best equipment, so you got to work with what you got. Oh, she shut off again. We'll get her going here. There she goes. All right, we got her fired up now. I just got got some loose connections in there. It's been 20 years since Nick's used this thing, so. Now flick it the other way. We got her going. Oh, high oh, speed, high speed. All right, you guys, we got the oil pump sucking out here. We're not going to turn that thing off. We had to bang on it to get it started. We finally got going. We are not going to shut it off and ruin that. We got our oil filter wrench right here on this 300. Your oil filter's right here on the side. Not this oil filter loose. Remember, righty loosey, righty -loosey. lefty tidy. <laughs> Put the old one in there. There we go. Take the protective cap off there. Now you always want to make sure to lube these. A little bit of oil on the Little gasket. lube on these gaskets. Otherwise, if you don't do that, next time you go take it off, you ain't gonna get it off. You'll be out here with a pair of channel locks. Spin her on. And when you're putting them back on, I don't recommend using the oil filter wrench. Just go until it's tight by hand. And the engine harmonics normally tighten those things to the point where they don't want to come off on their own. So if you start it off super tight, it's just gonna get way tighter. So just leave them hand tight and you'll be fine. We usually use a bigger funnel, but we're not exactly sure where that is, so we're stuck with this one. Oh boy, got him on, got him on. Beautiful pour, Dan. I know, Th thank you, Dawson. Yeah. We just got done changing oil in there. We're gonna start them up for just a second. They we're work. Gonna, we're gonna let them run for a while, you know, maybe 20, 30 seconds. And then we're gonna shut them off and double check all of our fluids just to make sure that there's not an air pocket built up in there something like that once we get done with all that put the cows back on spray everything down clean up pack up call today change some lower unit oils change some impellers change the oil in the motors i'm ready to go home I'm ready to go to bed all right you guys we've got the cows back on oils changed impellers changed gear oils changed we're ready for more fishing just got a couple <laughs> bonitas from mason down there on the buzz on and I'm gonna go home and strip those out, get a couple of fresh sword baits, 
and uh, we're looking forward to some more sword fishing here soon. So yeah. hopefully the wind lets down and we get a couple of nice days. It's blowing 25 right now and you do not want to be out there. It's rough. Thanks Have for checking in on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. We'll catch you in the next one.